Good morning, students. All. Today we will discuss some of the problems in the moving charges. Important topic. We will do some problems in this. Totally three problems will come from this chapter in the NEET. Six problems will come from this chapter in the CET. Important lesson. So listen carefully. So we'll see the question. What they are asking. Here, current flowing through a long conducting wire bent at right angles as shown. The magnetic field at point P on the right bisector of the angle X, O, Y at a distance R from O is at P because of these two wires. What is the magnetic induction? So that is the question they are asking. So how to do this one? Actually, this will be infinite wire like this. Okay. Uh, this will be infinite wire in this format. So this will be also infinite wire. Okay. So we'll try to do that one. How to do that one? See, here one wire is there like this. Here, one more wire is there like this. This is infinite wire, and this wire goes to infinity in this manner. And now, what they are asking is, P is a point here. At this point, due to the infinite wire, what is the magnetic induction? Because of this wire, here they gave this angle will be 45 degrees. This distance they gave it as R. Therefore, this distance value will be R sine 45. These two current is coming like this and going in this format. Both will create the cross fields only. So B net is equal to B1 plus B2, both are same. So this will be equal to 2B1, since B1 is equal to B2. B1 value, mu naught by 4 pi, I by, R value will be R sine 45 sin for sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2. Another angle will be sin 90. Okay. Uh, so how much will we get here? See, mu naught by 2 mu naught by 4 pi i by r. This is 1 by root 2. And this value 1 by root 2 plus 1. This root 2, root 2 will cancel. So, how much we will get here? See, um, <clears throat> B net is equal to mu naught by 4 pi 2 i by r. This will be root 2 plus 1 or 1 plus root 2. Okay, so this is the option for it. Okay, fourth option. See the next question. Two infinite wires are there. Uh, they are uh, bent in the form of L shape. What is the magnetic field at the center? So here one wire is there in this part. Here, one more wire is there in this format. At the center, what is the magnetic induction? That is the question. So, I am assuming this is first part, this is second part, this is infinite wire, this is infinite wire. This is infinite wire, this is infinite wire. They gave this distance is R. 
this distance is also equal to r so let this will be third part let this will be fourth part b net is equal to b1 plus b2 plus b3 plus b4 b1 already zero because this point is there on the same line because of b3 also it will be zero so b2 plus zero plus b4 b2 value mu naught by 4 pi i by r and because of this here there will be dot field and b4 value mu naught by 4 pi i by r this is also dot field if we add finally this value mu naught by 4 pi into 2i by r or we can write like this b net is equal to mu naught by 2 pi i by r so what will be the answer for it means so net field will be dot field only so second option will be the answer for it understanding next see the next question two parallel long wires carry current i1 and i2 with i1 greater than i2 when the currents are in the same direction magnetic field at the midway between the wire is 10 milli tesla if the direction of i2 is reversed field becomes 30 milli tesla then i1 by i2 value is what so here one wire is there like this straight lines little, little bit it is sliding currents are in the same direction first this wire here it will create dot cross field this wire it will create um, dot field i1 greater than i2 na? so b net is equal to mu naught by 2 pi r r in some distance so, uh, 2 pi a let it be into i1 minus i2 they gave this as 10 milli tesla mu naught by 2 pi a into i1 minus i2 this is case one Next, case two. Here current is like this. This current is reversed. Then it will create cross field. This will also create cross field. They gave that is 30 micro tesla, milli tesla mu naught by 2 pi a into e1 plus i2 okay 1 by 2 if you do n by 30 mu naught by 2 pi a will cancel i1 minus i2 by i1 plus i2 cross cancels 0 0 i1 plus i2 is equal to 3i1 minus 3i2. So 2i1 is equal to 4i2. i1 by i2 is equal to 2 by 1. So this is the answer for it. Okay. Next, see the 10th question, what they are asking. Long straight thin conductor has a current of I ampere. 
magnetic induction b away from the long conductor at a distance r from the axis will vary so long conductor what is the formula b is equal to u not by 2 pi i by r so relation between induction and r will be p proportional to 1 by r so inversely proportionate graph will be rectangular hyperbola so fourth option see the next one they gave one diagram like this and uh, what is the ratio of magnetic induction so little bit lengthy question in this case induction is b1 in this case induction is b2 in third case induction is b3 b1 b2 b3 ratio how much you must see here this wire and this wire will create fields in the opposite direction they will cancel so only because of this half circle we have to calculate because of half circle what is the magnetic induction b1 is equal to u not i by 4r and this will be in anti clockwise direction so field will be dot field next b2 if you consider this portion this portion and this portion won't create any field again this will be half circle so b2 is equal to again u not i by 4r it will be cross field why cross field means current is in the clockwise direction here because of this portion because of this there will be no field because of this field will be there because of this field will be there okay because of this here there because this line is in the same point because of this wire here there will be no induction so b3 is equal to what will happen mu not i by 2r into theta by 2 pi theta value 3 pi by 2 Uh, this is three fourth of the circle, na? so three pi by two uh, by two pi. This current is in clockwise direction, so it will be cross field. And because of this, mu naught by four pi i by r, this will be dot field. So plus mu naught by four pi i by r, this will be dot field. okay this pi pi will cancels so we can get it as 3 mu not i by 8 r it will be cross field this is mu not i by 4 pi r this will be dot field okay so cross is more here than a dot so we can write this one in this form right? uh, so the first minus second you have to write so then u not i by 4r if you take a common here 3 by 2 Minus one by pi, it will be cross field. Okay. Uh, then ratio they are asking you, B one is to B two is to B three. B one B two same mu naught i by r mu naught four by r. So this is dot. These two are crosses. So here minus one will come. Here one will come after cancelling mu naught i by four r three by two minus one by pi. Why here minus came because it is dot field. 
remaining two will be cross fields. I am multiplying with pi by two. Uh, then how much this is minus pi by two is to pi by two is equal to three pi by two minus uh, three pi by four. Now this is pi by two. Now we are multiplying. So three pi by four minus pi by two means here one by two. So this is the ratio minus pi by two is to pi by two is to three pi by four minus one by two. This is the answer for it. Okay. Next, see the next question. What they are asking me. The field normal to the plane of a wire of n turns and radius r, which carries a current i, is measured on the axis of the coil at a distance h from the center of the coil. This is smaller than the field at the center by a fraction. Circular coil magnetic field at the center formula mu naught n i by 2r. On the axis, what is the formula is mu naught n i r square here mu naught n i r square by 2 into r square plus h square whole power 3 by 2. What I am doing is mu naught n i r square here r square you take it out this r square then r square power 3 by 2 means it becomes r cube 1 plus h square by r square whole power 3 by 2 so this is how much again mu naught n i by 2 r into 1 plus h square by r square whole power 3 by 2 mu naught n i by 2 r means b center by 1 plus h square by r square whole power 3 by 2 this is induction on the axis okay so I am writing BC by BA. Um, and I am writing like this. BA is equal to BC 1 plus H square by R square whole power minus 3 by 2. So BC into 1 minus 3 by 2 h square by r square. Using binomial theorem, I am doing this. Then bc minus ba by ba. bc. This value is equal to 3 h square by 2 r square. Just I'm rearranging the terms, that's it only. We got 3h square by 2r square. This is the fraction. 3h square by 2r square. So first option will be the answer for it. Okay. A simple problem only, little bit of calculation you do. Next question. What they are asking? Magnetic induction at the center take it as uh, here capital R1 take this as capital R2 capital R2 uh, then what will happen because of this semicircle B is equal to B1 plus B2 this is mu naught I by 4 R1 clockwise cross field mu naught i by 4 r2 
anti-clockwise dot field. But cross is more than dot because R1 is less than R2. So B is equal to mu naught I by 4 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Net field will be cross field. So this is the answer for it. Okay. Next. 41C, what they are asking. Two thick wires and two thin wires. Two thick wires are there, two thin wires are there. Now see, this thick wire, thin wire resistance, I am assuming R. Thick wire, 2R. This is 2R, this is R. 2R, 2R. R, R. This 2R, this is 2R. This will be R, 2R. So what will happen? You observe the diagram P, what will happen? Above effective resistance will be in the above half part 3R. In the below half part effective resistance will be 3R. Above 3R, below 3R means current will be equally divided. Some current enters. In the upper half, how much current will flows? In the lower half, same current will flows. Here, upper part resistance will be 4R. Lower part resistance will be 2R. Currents will not be same. Here, upper part resistance will be 3R. Lower part resistance will be 3R. Again, current will be divided in the same manner. So what will happen in P and R equal currents will flow in both upper and lower halves. So B is equal to zero in P and R. Uh, in Q it is not zero. So in P and R current will in direction will be equal to zero. Next see the next question what they are asking a long straight wire carries a current of carries a steady current i the current is uniformly distributed across its cross section the ratio of the magnetic induction magnetic field at A by 2 and 2A. And how this is the question is, here one wire is there. For your understanding, I am writing like this. What is the radius of this wire? A. I am taking a point here, one point, a distance A by 2. At a distance 2A, I am taking another point. Ratio of magnetic inductions, they are asking. Okay, this distance value will be A by 2. This distance value will be 2A. So B inside. What is the formula is mu naught IR by 2 pi R square. So mu naught I into A by 2 by 2 pi A square. R is A by 2. So how much this value? A, A we cancel. 
B inner B1 and B I am assuming this is mu naught I by 4 pi A. Let it be equation one outside B outside just wire form mu naught by 2 pi I by R mu naught by 2 pi I by 2A. This is B out. So how much we will get this B O is equal to mu naught I by 4 pi A. Then B I is to B O is equal to 1. Both are same only now. So this value will be 1. This is second option. I think in the material provided to you, answer they gave it as wrong. Modify it as equation 1. I cross-checked once again. This is the answer. Next question. Um, a long hollow copper pipe carries a direct current. Long hollow copper pipe carries a direct current. The magnetic field associated with the current will be okay. So, hollow pipe. This is a solid pipe. Remember, uh, this is completely solid. Uh, here it is a hollow pipe. Hollow pipe inside there will be no field. So, for a hollow pipe. inside B is equal to zero will be only outside inside our field will be zero okay that is 55 next question two tangent galvanometers are there this dragging is taking more time Two tangent galvanometers are there. They are having same radius. Uh, this is one galvanometer. This is another galvanometer. They are connected in series. Series means what? What is the meaning? They are uh, same current is flowing through them. Uh, current flowing through this connection produces in this 60 degrees reflection, produces in this 45 degrees reflection, number of turns is what? So in tangent galvanometer I is equal to K tan theta. Is 2R BH by mu naught N into tan theta. This is the formula. Here radius same, uh, BH constant, mu constant, I constant. So here I R R constant. BH mu naught already constants. Therefore, remaining tan theta by n is equal to constant. So, n1 by n2 is equal to tan theta 1 by tan theta 2. This is tan 60 degrees divided by tan 45 degrees. So, n1 by n2 tan 60 will be root 3, tan 45 is 1, so root 3 by 1. So this is the answer for it. Okay, next. Next question, what they are asking is to increase the, in order to increase the sensitivity of moving coil galvanometer 
one should decrease sensitivity means uh, deflection per unit current is sensitivity so in moving coil galvanometer v i a n is equal to c theta theta by i is equal to v a n by c this theta by i will be called sensitivity therefore current sensitivity yes i is equal to b a n by c if we have to increase then what to decrease means this c galvanometer constant should be decreased so you know if strength of the magnet not area not number of coils they should increase c should decrease so torsional constant should decrease to increase the sensitivity clear and uh, next question a galvanometer coil is there simple questions only am not try to do uh, in the assignment also totally 170 questions odd are there try to do maximum try to understand if uh, you can't just you ring me to we'll discuss that galvanometer resistance is there it is that resistance value will be 100 volts shunt resistance value will be 10 volts current flowing through the galvanometer current flowing through the shunt total current ratio this value current flowing through the galvanometer means is by g plus s current flowing through the galvanometer ig is is by g plus s the current flowing through the shunt means ig by g plus s this is i i's will cancel s value 10 g value 100 100 plus 10 this is 100 by 100 plus 10 this is 1 so 10 is 2 100 is 2 110 this is 1 is 2 10 is 2 11 so first option will be the answer for it next last question for this session voltmeter range is 30 volt uh, we have to increase its range to 150 volt okay uh, then what is the uh, resistance we should connect that is the question first what is the initial resistance we will find v is equal to ig v value 30 i value 5 into 10 power minus 3 into g 5 6 will cancel g is equal to 6 into 10 cube ohms. Then R is equal to N minus 1 into G. This is V2 by V1 minus 1 into G. This is 150. This will be 30 minus 1 into this is 6 kilo ohms. This is. 150 by 30 means 5. 5 minus 1 will be 4. 4 into 6. This value will be 24 kilo ohms. Okay. So answer will be second option. Okay. So with this, we will close the session and we will continue the remaining in the next section. Okay. okay. We will stop the session now.